Hey guys, welcome back. We begin at the start of construction package one and then ending off at the San Joaquin River Viaduct. If you're wondering what the thing is in between the BNSF and future high-speed rail lines is, that is the way the high-speed rail and BNSF or Union Pacific are split between the two, and that is what's called an intrusion berms, which is an alternate way to split them compared to what most of you guys have already seen in my videos, the IPB walls. But now let's get started. guys have watched my videos in the past you guys know that I've never filmed the whole Cedar Viaduct right of way well here we are I decided today to film the whole way and in a second you will see the Jensen trench which they were working today which was kind of interesting One thing I wanted to know at the Golden State Boulevard Great Separation is why haven't they shifted it back to the main right of way? It's been there for I think a year now. Can someone from HSR comment on this? I don't know why. It seems like it's ready, it just needs to be striped for the most part, and that takes like a day. Jensen Trench you can see some cars there and it seems like they're excavating some of the right-of-way I'm not too sure what they were doing here There wasn't as many workers here as they were at the Cesar Chavez underpass, which we'll get into in a moment seems the Church Avenue Great Separation is still in limbo. I'm not too sure what's going on. It's been like this for months now. There hasn't been anything major of note besides some asphalt being poured for the new Golden State Boulevard portion, but structurally of the Great Separation, it's been the same.
A lot has happened in downtown Fresno since I've last filmed. You can see new IPB walls have been put in place, both south and north of Cesar Chavez Boulevard. And speaking of Cesar Chavez Boulevard, you can see they have now started paving the roadway, finally. They have now started putting street lights in place and so much more. And just today, you will see in a second with an image, they are now putting stoplights at this intersection, which is a major thing because in the past there was no stoplights and they are now pouring these sidewalks and these center median line. And in a second, there'll be another image where when I filmed today on the 23rd, they have now poured the center median line, which when I was filming with the drone, it wasn't done, but now it's done. Here's an image taken today and when the time this video goes live where the new concrete has now been cured and in the drone footage you can see them putting the formwork up before they poured that concrete. One thing I wanted to note with Cesar Chavez Boulevard, they are keeping the same paint style as they are with other high speed rail structures here in downtown Fresno, that beige slash tan color, and it's even on the high speed rail sidewalls, which it's not on Tulare Street. Can someone tell me why in the comments, please? I really want to know because everything else on Tulare Street is that color, but the high speed rail part isn't. So if someone can comment on that, let me know. More second drilling and excavation is occurring at the Fresno Trench just north of the SR-180 passageway. And in a second you will see a really close to complete embankment for the Belmont Avenue grade separation. If you guys don't know already, Belmont Avenue was open to traffic in May of this year, but wasn't fully complete in terms of embankment and widening the roadway. You can see now the MSE embankment is done. They are now prepping to pour the sidewalks, and after that, when they pour the sidewalks, they just have to pave and stripe, and it's got the green light, then it'll be fully complete on the main embankment portion. Speaking of a type of embankment, you can see them filling in where the underpass used to be with a lot of excavators and rock trucks being there on a Saturday afternoon. It was really surprising because usually they don't work on this time of day, and in a second you will see even more workers working at the slope that will begin the Fresno Trench. Here at the Fresno Trench you can see a lot of workers prepping the guideway with pouring concrete and tying rebar. And you can see new sidewalls are being put in place to when the slope begins going below grade level and allowing future high speed rail tracks to go below SR-180 and a lot of other things in this really complicated part of the project. Nothing too major to note at the McKinley Avenue grade separation where some rebar has now been tied for the future bend caps on the east of the Union Pacific track portion.
as we're going next to State Route 99, I wanted to mention one thing that is new in between Ashland and Clinton Avenues is there is now new fencing on the side of the guideway. And the reasoning behind this is once guideway is complete, the High Speed Rail Authority would then put permanent fencing in place to separate pedestrians, etc. from the right of way. And this is already seen in all of Construction Package 4, which is where they are laying tracks next year. As I went below Ashland Avenue, you can see now there's unfortunately graffiti right next to the fencing, but if you're from this part of Fresno, you know this is not uncommon. Compared to last month, you guys can see the new asphalt of the Golden State Boulevard realignment, which is a good sign because once that whole thing has been shifted and realigned, then they can demolish the old Golden State and extend the right of way. Today really made me happy seeing Shaw Avenue come to life. You can see the formwork has been removed for one set of the columns. More formwork has gone up for the other set of columns and the west abutment wall rebar is being tied. It's just an amazing thing to see that they are really getting progress done in this part of town. For the first time in a long time, you can see them doing some util work just north of Veterans Boulevard. I filmed this since March of this year, and I've never seen them do anything underground down here. Probably for Herndon Avenue, I'm not too sure. Speaking of Herndon Avenue, it is still in limbo because of Union Pacific not finishing the shoe fly. I don't know what's going on, it's been like this I think since August of this year. This should have been done months ago. Please Union Pacific, just shift the railway. I don't think it's that hard to do in a short period of time. Here we end off at the San Joaquin River Viaduct, and I wanted to say 
thank you guys for watching thank you guys for sticking by me through this year i may be not too sure yet do an end of the year recap of what hsr has done and all the places i filmed since the beginning of the year keep an eye out for that and on that note thank you guys for watching